Welcome back to Verse Visionaries, where we dive deep into the Word of God to uncover its timeless truths and transformative power. Today we are exploring one of the most profound and liberating verses in the New Testament, Romans 8 verse 1. This verse encapsulates the essence of the gospel and the incredible freedom we have in Christ. Let's read the verse together. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who don't walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. This verse is a declaration of our new identity in Christ and the freedom from condemnation that comes with it. Join us as we unpack this powerful truth and discover what it means to live a life free from condemnation. Context of Romans 8 verse 1 To fully understand the significance of Romans 8 verse 1, we need to look at its context within the book of Romans. The Apostle Paul wrote this letter to the believers in Rome, addressing both Jewish and Gentile Christians. The letter systematically lays out the core doctrines of the Christian faith, emphasizing the righteousness that comes from God through faith in Jesus Christ. In the preceding chapters, Paul discusses the universal problem of sin and the law's inability to save us. He highlights the struggle between the flesh and the spirit and the futility of trying to achieve righteousness through our own efforts. Romans 7 ends with Paul's anguished cry. Wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from the body of this death? Romans 8 verse 1 answers this cry by pointing to the solution, Jesus Christ. It marks a transition from the despair of human effort to the hope and assurance found in the Spirit-led life. The meaning of no condemnation. The phrase no condemnation is central to understanding this verse. Condemnation refers to a legal declaration of guilt and the ensuing punishment. In a spiritual context, it signifies the judgment and eternal separation from God that our sins deserve. When Paul says, there is therefore now no condemnation, he is proclaiming that for those who are in Christ Jesus, the verdict of guilt and the sentence of punishment have been removed. This is not because of anything we have done, but because of what Jesus has done for us. The basis for no condemnation the basis for this freedom from condemnation is our union with Christ. Paul uses the phrase, in Christ Jesus to describe our new position. This union is the foundation of our salvation and the source of our new identity. Being in Christ means that we are united with him in his death and resurrection. Our old self, with its sinful nature, has been crucified with Christ and we are now new creations in him. Paul elaborates on this in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17. Therefore if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. This new identity means that we are no longer defined by our past sins or failures. Instead, we are defined by Christ's righteousness. God sees us as he sees his Son, holy, blameless, and without fault. Living according to the Spirit. Romans 8 verse 1 also introduces the concept of living according to the Spirit. Paul contrasts this with living according to the flesh. The flesh refers to our sinful nature and our tendency to rely on our own efforts. Living according to the flesh leads to condemnation because it is rooted in self-righteousness and disobedience to God. In contrast, living according to the Spirit means yielding to the Holy Spirit's guidance and relying on His power to live a life that pleases God. The Holy Spirit empowers us to overcome sin and live in the freedom that Christ has secured for us. Paul explains this further in Galatians 5 verses 16 to 18. But I say, walk by the Spirit, and you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh, 
and these are contrary to one another, that you may not do the things that you desire. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Assurance and Freedom in Christ One of the most significant implications of Romans 8 verse 1 is the assurance and freedom it brings to believers. Knowing that there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus gives us confidence to approach God without fear. We no longer have to live in the shadow of guilt and shame because Jesus has taken our punishment upon himself. This assurance transforms our relationship with God. Instead of seeing him as a harsh judge, we see him as a loving father who has adopted us into his family. Paul emphasizes this in Romans 8 verse 15. For you didn't receive the spirit of bondage again, to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption, by whom we cry, Abba, Father. This new relationship enables us to live in the freedom and joy of knowing that we are fully accepted and loved by God. Romans 8 verse 1 is a powerful reminder of the freedom and assurance we have in Christ. As believers, we are no longer under condemnation but are free to live in the Spirit. This truth transforms our relationship with God, empowers us to live victorious lives, and fills us with peace and joy. Let us embrace this freedom and live each day in the confidence that we are loved, accepted, and free from condemnation. Amen. Thank you for joining me in the study of Romans 8 verse 1. If you were blessed by this message, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Verse Visionaries for more Bible studies and Christian content. Until next time, may you walk in the freedom and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ.